welcome back pom pom game welcome back to another pom pom sisters youtube channel hair tutorial this week or this day to texture tuesday tutorial tuesday we are featuring kaylani our middle child with the wavy tresses and the reason why y'all haven't seen kalia featured on our texture tuesday tutorial tuesday is because she's been rocking knotless braids for the past month so i've been taking a huge break off of doing her hair so with kaylani i decided to try doing a wash and go because i just felt like i haven't done a wash and go in a while on this channel we usually do a lot of protective styles and stuff like that which those are great but you know with it being nice and hot outside i felt like it's a great time for the girls to just let their hair loose so with kaylani's wavy hair we of course going to start off with clean hair her hair has already been detangled and i am going in using the curls poppin pineapple leave-in conditioner as well as the hair jelly which is pretty much like a gel has a gel consistency and we're pretty much lathering her hair in these two products the only two products i'll be using on her hair and we're getting ready to go to bed so we're doing this as her nighttime routine to prep her for some nice curly curls in the morning i will say i was extremely impressed on how good these curls turned out so right here i'm just pretty much making sure that leave-in conditioner is has made its way through every strand of her hair we are distributing it very well i'm doing a lot of finger raking to keep her hair detangled because we don't want it to tangle up too badly and then she make, wakes up the next morning with a matte ball on her head then once we have distributed all the leave-in conditioner i'm then going to go in with the hair jelly or the gel whatever you want to call it and it has this nice tropical pineapple scent to it it just is beautiful so we are going to section her hair off when we do this because I want to make sure that jelly is going to coat and that bring out that definition in her curls. Now with Lonnie's hair, she's kind of on the type 2C type 3A kind of curls. The front of her hair curls up a whole lot more than the back of her hair. And so I just, I, I don't know, I try not to put too many products that's gonna weigh her curls down, but I also want her curls to be defined. So with this gel, it's not heavy, it's not clumpy, and it doesn't flake. So I was really, really glad on using these two products and how well they work because I tried these products on Kalia's type three hair and it just won't, it won't it. It did nothing, absolutely nothing for her. So I'm glad I was able to use these products on Kaylani and her curls came out gorgeous. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this because you know this method you lather the products and then you scrunch and move on to the next section Once we have applied both her leave-in conditioner and her curl defining jelly to her curls, I'm just going to scrunch up as much as I can. As I'm doing her scrunching, I realize that she just doesn't have the volume that I'm looking for. And that's mainly because Kaylani's hair is all one length. So I think I'm gonna do a video later on where we do a diva cut on her to add more layers, which will add more volume to her hair because her hair unfortunately just lacks volume. So I'm having her flip her hair around so we can try to add as much volume to her hair as possible so it's not completely flat and it's, you know she kind of struggled with that <laughs> but then we're going to take a cotton t-shirt and we're going to wrap her hair up i put a loose bun at the top of her head and we're just going to knot this towel or a t-shirt around her head just to help with keeping the products 
in her hair and they don't like bleed out onto her pillow or something like that and the you know cost frizz and all that we, we want these curls to be as defined as possible so i just grabbed the old t-shirt of hers and we're just gonna go ahead and wrap that around her head but yeah i really am thinking about doing a diva cut on her i just really think that'll really bring out her curls so much i've seen a lot of like diy tutorials so i think i'm gonna watch a couple this weekend and we'll come back next week on texture tuesday tutorial tuesday and we'll show y'all what we got because i it, it might be a hot mess to be honest with you <laughs> i've never really cut cut kalani's hair like seriously i've always done like trends and stuff like that but um she's been wanting her hair to grow out so i've kind of laid off on trimming her hair and now i just want to add those layers to just have her hair popping These were her results the next morning. We're getting ready to go to daycare. I'm heading off to work. And oh my goodness, those curls look amazing. Like I was really surprised. Like this was my first time really attempting a wash and go for Kehlani. Usually if I, I, I usually do something with her hair, whether I put it in braids or plaits or a ponytail. So this was my first time actually going through the motions of doing a wash and go where she just, you know, wash and heads out the door. And I'm really amazed. I will say I, I definitely wish she had more volume, more layers in her hair just to make her hair bigger and curlier. So I'm definitely, definitely going to be watching some tutorials on how to do a diva cut because I am going to be achieving one on Kaylani's hair. We're, we're going to make this wash and go like the ultimate wash and go by the end of the summer. AB will even have it ready for her to start school or if school decides to open back up. That's still kind of on the fence here in North Carolina. How about y'all? Are y'all kids going back to school? Are you okay with your kids going back to school with the coronavirus and the COVID and all that going on right now? So I'm doing a quick, simple style. We're doing a half up, half down so I can take some quick pictures because of course we're getting ready to go to work and daycare. So I am kind of on the roll. I really didn't have much to actually style her hair, but I didn't want to take away from her curls. So I just did a simple half up, half down, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I'm definitely going to do more wash and goes on Kehlani's type two hair. She was so excited. She, she thought she looked like her big sister with all these curls in her hair. And I will say I love the definition of these curls popping pineapple collection. It also came with a scalp treatment oil that I did not use in the video, but later, like the next day, I did use it uh, on her hair, not necessarily on her scalp, but I did use it on her hair just to add a little bit more shine because it did get a little dull because of that gel. But for the most part, it looked gorgeous. Uh, this style only lasted two days though. <laughs> of course, by then I had to put in a ponytail or style it some kind of way because it started to matte in in the back of her head unfortunately but i still got as many pictures as i could and i absolutely love it but thank you pom pom game for joining us for another texture tuesday tutorial tuesday hair tutorial on our lovely channel thank you we just hit two thousand subscribers because so you should already know a giveaway is coming soon i'm still just trying to figure out what i'm gonna give away but <laughs> thank you so much i hope all of y'all continue to stay safe and be blessed please check on your family and friends facetime them as much as you can if you're not able to see them physically and i will see y'all on our next video Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell. You like your hair? Mm-hmm.